So now we're around the back. If you look up the roof here, we have a solar DC switch which controls both arrays and we have two panels or two lots of 10. This is a five kilowatt system, right? Which basically means that there's a maximum allowed on this system in certain parts of Melbourne. You can put 10 or five. The, the retailer here that supplies the power to us, SP Osnet, have only allowed us to put in a five kilowatt. That's the maximum. The problem you do have, if you have too many solar panel systems in the street, it starts to push the voltage up because the voltage on the, in the inverter tries to be a little bit more than the incoming supply so it's actually pushing power back into the system and that's how you get your credit through the smart meter. Okay, The smart meter does need to be changed in the regard of reprogramming so that they can see that power is going in and power is going out. Okay, So at certain times the best time to use your solar is during the day when it's producing all the wattage, when you have your washing machine on, air conditioner and all that, the power you're producing on the inverter is getting directly used into them appliances. There's, Look, as you look at during the night, it doesn't generate power unless we had a wind generator and we would then still get power. So solar is only effectively during the day. It doesn't store it in batteries. It only basically puts into the system during the day. So it's quite effective that we use your appliances during the day to get the maximum wattage, uh, wattage and usage actually. Okay, that's it.